Fabrizio UV lamp and a cheap UV lamp like you can find plenty on Amazon, eBay, on the internet. Um, they both emit a lot of UV lights radiation. Fabrizio UV lamp has a power of 50 watts, while this lamp bought on, uh, on Amazon is uh, 100 and 100 watts. So uh, let's see, and this one is much cheaper. So let's see how they behave when we want to analyze art object. So we start uh, with this uh, oil painting. So the first application of uh, UV photography, UV examination, is uh, to see retouching um, on, on the object. Okay, so let's uh, put uh, the lamp over here, toward the wall, so the Fabrizio V lamp, the cheap UV lamp over here, and uh, we turn off the lights, And first we turn on the cheap UV lamp. Okay, there it is. And we look here at the painting on the wall. Let's see what we get. Let's look like this. So how we see here, basically uh, we can see the retouching uh, on this uh, painting, like uh, this one, this area. And the, we see something, we see the retouching, but the details, the contrast is pretty low. Okay, so now let's turn off the um, cheap UV lamp and we turn on the Fabrizio UV lamp. So you see now the contrast is much, much more. We can tell much better the retouchings on the painting. Uh, and we have the usual uh, yellowish color that we expect uh, when we do uh, UV fluorescence photography. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, now we look at the pigment check. In particular, we want to look at the zinc white that is over here in the calibration card, but also is over here. Uh, let's explore this uh, target, the calibration, uh, the pigment checker with the cheap UV lamp. So we turn on the lights. Okay, there we are. So we see that the zinc white and the calibration target here of zinc white look like white. So uh, zinc white still look white. Um, so nothing special about this uh, lamp. Now we turn off this uh, lamp and we turn on Fabrizio UV lamp. So you see now we see the real colors of uh, UV fluorescence. So we see that the zinc white over here, but also over here in the target is yellowish. And also we can tell much better the fluorescence of shellac and mother lake. Now we examine this Indian painting dated about 19th century. Uh, we want to examine it with uh, the cheap UV lamp. So we turn off the light, we turn on the cheap UV lamp and we see a lot of uh, fluorescence. I want to look at this area, so basically where we have the sky and the mountain. So this is the cheap UV lamp. Now we switch, this, switch on the Fabrizio UV lamp and you see now how the contrast is much better. So the sky, we see this proper um, emission, so this area of the mountain is dark as uh, it is uh, actually uh, should be and we see better the actual fluorescence of the other materials. We noticed the differences between the two lamps. 
and we had this qualitative approach. Let's now have an instrumental approach to see what are the differences. We are going to use the gorgeous reflectance spectrometer. So generally we use this equipment to measure the reflectance spectra of the pigments. Uh, but in this case we can also use this equipment to have a measure of the output of the lens. So we start with uh, the Fabrizio V lamp. Uh, so we turn on the, um, the lamp. Okay, so you see this peak over here, uh, we can measure, is the peak of, uh, of the lamp. We can take this measurement. Okay, there it is, and we see the peak we can measure its position it's at 365 as uh, supposed to be for this lab now we go to measure the emission of the cheap lamp so we measure now this uh, lamp we put the probe in front of the lamp we go on the computer and we make the acquisition Okay, so we see now from this graph that the peak of the emission of this uh, uh, cheap uh, UV lamp is basically at a little bit le less than 400 nanometer, 398, something like that. So this is why uh, this uh, lamp has a very little bit of UV, the real UV. You see the, this other part over here on the left, so we reach here at about 380 maybe a little bit but the peak of this cheap UV lamp is at 400 nanometer so it's barely UV light.